Make sure to watch until the end of the video if you guys want some tips to have some low ping and to have better frames in game on the Nintendo Switch. Anyways, let's get into it. Make sure you have 150% brightness so then you're able to see out in the dark. This is very vital. Also, make sure you have this off, okay? If you have it on, then your Nintendo Switch becomes weaker and emits less power. So then it's able to save some battery. But like, yo, it doesn't. Battery does not matter. You play it. You play your Nintendo Switch plugged in. So like, so you guys should have this off because if you have it on, it'll make your Nintendo Switch le weaker. Like I said. Anyways, volume settings. Make sure you have visualized sound effects on. Because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to see where the people are at around you. It's nice to have. You can see the footsteps. You can see where people are shooting from. And yeah. Anyways. Here, we got some game settings here. You know, I got NA West, 18 milliseconds. Okay. Um, I got English, United States because I'm Korean. Um, toggle sprint. Make sure you have that on. Auto open doors on just for convenience. Mantle activation, hurdle activation. You guys could have that as whatever. Um, this is nice for convenience. It's just the little things in life. You know, it's really nice. Make sure you have this off because you know it's annoying when you're running when you're running over guns. You know, reset building choice. Have this on. Disable pre edit option. If you have this on, it'll increase your input delay in game. Like, watch. I'm gonna try to do a triple edit. Or quad edit and watch. It's not even gonna let me. Okay, you get it. You guys ready? Okay, it, it didn't even place a floor for me. Bro, I literally edited that. I literally edited that. I swear on every. Bro, it's it's not letting me edit. Anyways, make sure you have that off, bro. I swear, this setting is really trash, bro. Don't have this on. Don't have this on. Have this off, okay? Turbo building, you gotta have that on. And auto confirm edits. I used to have it on edit, but I recently just changed it to both because it's nice, you know, when you do your resets, when you do your resets, you don't even have to press the confirm button. I still do, but it makes your resets much faster, you know, it, it's just so much better. So make sure you guys have that on for both your edit and your edit, for both your edit and your reset button. Um, contextual tips have that off in review those are pretty useless this is really nice to have though tap to search and interact you just tap on it and then you're able to like open up a chest and stuff anyways here's my game UI settings HUD scale you don't really need to have it really high I have it high sometimes for recording so then people can see I'm on 30 FPS but I think 80% HUD scale is the best for Nintendo Switch players because you're still able to see everything like your ping, your frames, and just everything nice and clearly. So yeah, um, there's that. And then take off some of the uh, necessary ones like pick up loot stream, map and backpack, backpack keys, my bad. Quest progress, control prompts, um, all these ones because they're going to be cluttered all over the screen. I'll show you right now. This is what my screen looks like without it. This is my screen without any of the necessary settings that I mentioned. As you can see here, it's cluttering the screen. We got a whole bunch of random things like on the top right. We got all those random stuff on the bottom right too. So I recommend that you have it off so then it's not cluttering the screen. And also, since you have less things on the screen, the Nintendo Switch is going to be able to run itself on better FPS. Consistent 30 FPS, which is really nice. So yeah. So yeah, turn those off. Uh, gyro aiming. Touch and motion, gyro aiming, this is what I use. I use, I move my controller around so I can move like a PC player or a keyboard or mouse player, I should say. It's really convenient because you're able to have a, like more freedom in your movements. And I think everyone should at least try this once to see if they like it or not. Because, you know, no harm in trying. And yeah, it, it's a really nice setting. I recommend you guys have it on. The only downside is your aiming can be a little bit worse, but your building and editing will be really good. I promise you that. My bad. Bro, I keep stuttering for some reason. But anyways, these are my sensitivities. Uh, You know, it's nothing too crazy. I used to have advanced gyro settings, but I just turned it off. Uh, Legacy is the best for the most accurate hand controller to screen movements, if that makes sense. Like, the amount that you move your controller in real life will be translated in-game. The exact amount that you move it in real life, if that makes sense. Damn, bro. Anyways, uh, these are my controller settings. These settings are really good, too. These settings are really good, too, for those who play on stick, who play with paddles or claw. Controller auto run, have that on. Build immediately. Of course, you gotta have that on. Um, 
vibration make sure you have this off because if you have it on then it's going to be draining your battery on the controller because it's you know an added feature it's like vibrating your controller you don't need to have that on bro you don't you should you shouldn't even have that on bro you shouldn't even have that on anyways these are the sensitivities we got we got the build mode 1.3 1.2 and then have advanced on so you can unlock these settings 43%, 43%, 14%, 14%, 0.00, .00 seconds. And then turn this one off. We don't need no instant boost. That's just going to make your aim inconsistent. 12%, 12%, 2%, 2%. And then 0 seconds in between the boost. And then 0 seconds for the boost time. So then you can get that instant 2% boost every single time you turn. And then here you could play around with it. You could do linear. You could also do exponential. It's up to you. I personally have it on linear, but it is. But you guys could do whatever you want. Aim assist strength. Have it on 100%. Even though gyro players do not get aim assist. Left stick dead zone. Have 40. I have it at 40%. Make sure you have your right stick dead zone at the lowest percent possible. So then you're able to do some stick movements without having your thing to be all like choppy. You know, your the way you're like you're looking around. I should say. And accelerate with thumbstick. I have this on, you know. That's up to you. Anyways, all right. These are my key binds, or whatever I should say, binds, whatever. I have a custom. I use B to jump. You already know. Uh, right stick to crouch. The right D-pad button to sprint. To fire, use ZR, ZL to target. Y to reload. The bumpers for the weapons. Uh, X for my carry. What uh. For my pickaxe, my bad, my bad. Uh, place bumper, bumper, place marker. Dang, I can't read. Uh, left D pad, left D pad. Yeah, this is my building settings. Uh, left stick to switch mode. Left D pad to change the material. Wide for the traps. And then I have the right trigger, and then the right bumper for floor. Left trigger for stairs. You know, uh, you know, same as Builder Pro, and. Uh, here are my edits but edit binds. I have the right trigger to select, left trigger to confirm, right bumper to reset. I have three buttons in motion whenever I make an edit, and my edit button is A. I have two edit buttons. You already know I got A as my edit button. And then I got yeah, the emote stuff. You you don't really need to copy that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for those ones. Uh here. Uh, I don't know why you guys would want to copy these settings, but you guys can copy them if you really want to copy these settings, even though these settings do not need to be copied by you guys. Um, and yeah, that's it for the rest of the video. If you guys want to have a tutorial on how to have low ping on Nintendo Switch, like on screen right here, 6 ping, it's alright. I used to get 0, but um, my Wi-Fi has been bugging recently. But yeah, I'll, I'll teach you guys how to get really low ping on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, let me know in the comments below what you think of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.